Greetings. I'm Edis. And I'm Ben. And this is part two of our Super Smash Bros. Disney Edition video. So if you haven't seen part one, check that one out. We discuss which eight characters would be in the base roster of a Super Smash Bros. Disney Edition. But in this video, I'm talking about unlockable characters. So you're basically going to pick 12 characters like the original Smash Bros game. Yeah, I've picked each one to kind of replace each character. So their fighting style, what they stand for. The characters we've already got in our base roster, we've got Mickey Mouse, Wreck-It Ralph, Robin Hood, Elsa, Pinocchio, Mulan, Stitch, and Hero. Some good characters. Okay, so here are the original unlockable characters. We have Luigi, Ness, Captain Falcon, and Jigglypuff. The first character is Luigi. So obviously Luigi is Mario's sidekick, his right hand man. So it's either going to be Donald Duck or Goofy. I went with Donald Duck. First of all, he's got quack attack. It rhymes. So he quacks and can like stun people. He's very cartoony. He's got like circle punches. So they're going to run at people like this. Um, he's also got like, he gets and angry no, sometimes. <laughs> He gets angry at people sometimes, steam comes out his ears okay. and sends them back. Now my main idea for Donald Duck, I built in a rage mechanic. Oh wow. So the whole thing with Donald is that he just gets really like, angry. angry. Really, so he's quite a weak character to begin with, yeah. but the higher his percentage, the, the more, more he aggressive. gets beaten up, the more annoyed he gets, whole... the more aggressive he gets. Okay. So now when he's steaming, like he's got, and actually he becomes a bit too powerful, but also easy to knock off. Let's look at the costume alternatives. So we've got classic Donald. We've got Caballero Donald from the Three Caballeros. Noah Donald from Fantasia 2000. Quackpack Donald, aka Donald in a Hawaiian shirt. DuckTales Donald. Woo. Musketeer Donald. Kingdom Hearts Donald. That's cool. And New Donald. So his final smash will be he's just a ball of rage just going around the screen like a cloud. Just like messing people up. Damn. Okay, so our next unlockable character is Ness. Ness is known for having psi powers, which are like mind control powers, like magic, PK thunder, that kind of PK fire, you know, that kind of thing. PK. So I went with a magical Disney character, a Disney character who has magic powers, a genie. I thought about Genie, but in all honesty, they're too powerful. Yeah. I went with Merlin the Wizard, Sword in the Stone. Sounds like it's going to be a bit of a boring character. Oh, now, just a moment. I had a look back at the film at some of his abilities. He's got like a snow you flurry. the whole film. I ask him for it. <laughs> he has like a snow flurry that he could like attack people with. He has a spin attack. He comes into the room once literally spinning round. We're going to use that. He also turns invisible quite a few times in the film and then just reappears somewhere else. And so I thought maybe his neutral B is invisibility. So he literally, press B, he turns invisible, right. which is obviously harder for other people to fight him, but also it's hard for you as the player to see yeah. where he is. Like, can he like pop a rabbit out of his hat or something? He's not a high school magician, Ed is. He's not pulling rabbits out of The disrespect to Merlin that's happening right now. <laughs> His up special could be a move called Blow Me to Bermuda, which is where he literally turns himself into a rocket and he goes to Bermuda in the film. Blow Me to Bermuda! Without any context, that's so <laughs> random. Right, now so his down B is a sick move. At the end of the film, he has a wizard's duel with Madame Mim, where they keep turning themselves into different animals. And so I thought he could have a bunch of different animals where it's random which one he turns into just for like one move. For example, if he turns into a walrus, he literally like, turns into a walrus, smash onto someone, and then he turns back into himself. Is he a walrus in the film? Yeah. There's another one where he turns into a goat, and so he press down B, and a little goat comes out and like, rams wow. someone, goes back in. Another one could be like a snapping turtle where it comes out, snap, snap, snap. Or maybe just a rabbit jump where he just jumps really high. What about his hat? Can you not point anything out his hat? It is. You're literally insulting him right now. <laughs> if you saw Gandalf, would you say to Gandalf, <laughs> pull that out your hat, mate? You, you got a rabbit in there? So we've got a lovely little render here of Merlin in his <laughs> lovely <boot. laughs> Giving it Voldemort. <laughs> 
I just went with colours, guys. Green. Just green. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> Red. Why don't you do like other famous wizards? Well, I've got Gandalf of the Grey. What's, what's Dumbledore? I feel like he's a purple, no? Oh no, well, actually... He's like a blue, isn't he? I've got one to represent Dumbledore. <laughs> yeah. Come on, <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Come on, shoes. And then, this one's cool. He's representing Yen Sid from Fantasia. Yeah. Giving him a darker blue, giving him a grey beard, giving him the sorcerer's hat. And then the last one I've gone with is Tourist Merlin when he comes back from Bermuda. I need to watch this film. And his final smash is Hidgetus Fidgetus. Basically, he opens up his bags. All the crockery comes flying across the screen. I'm talking books, I'm talking teapots, I'm talking plates. Like, just hits people. Is that in the film? Yeah, baby. It's a whole song. Oh. It's called Hidgetus Fidgetus. Hidgetus Fidgetus Fidgetus Mom Preston Tony! Okay, so the next one was Captain Falcon. Ooh. So Captain Falcon, he's a little bit tall. At this point, I went with the basic sort of body shape and just which iconic characters need to be included in the first game. I went with Goofy. Oh. Why are you disappointed? I, I thought you hit better than that. So Goofy, it's in the name. He's a Goofy character. He's clumsy. And I thought a lot of his moveset, in the same way as Pinocchio, will like, accidentally hurt people. He's kind of just falling into people, Goofy. Okay. He's got long legs and long arms, so he's got a bit more of a reach on him. I found this great bit of animation. In the same way as Donald's got like circle arms, he's got like circle legs running at people. Goofy had loads of shorts of like how to ski, how to do the Olympics, things like that. That's honestly what he's most famous for. And I thought to reference those, his side B would be him like just skiing into people. Across the screen. Across the screen. Also in a Goofy movie, he gets out a Hoover and he's Hoover in Max's room. And I thought he could like Hoover people up. <laughs> Not up, just like Hoover. I wrote, in all honesty, I wrote Hoover and I don't remember why I wrote Hoover. So <laughs> Okay, time for Goofy's costumes. We've got classic Goofy. Goof Troop Goofy. Yeah. Everybody Mumbo Goofy. Everybody Mumbo. Dippy Dog Goofy. Christmas Carol Goofy. Why is he blue? He's a ghost. Why did you say that? <laughs> when people talk about ghosts, they're like, ooh, he's a ghost. What's happening? And just like Mickey and Donald, I've given him a Musketeer version, a Kingdom Hearts version, and the new Goofy version. Ugh. Yeah, this one I don't like at all. It's really ugly. What's but... happened to it? Why is he dressed in black? That's his skin, bro. Yeah. The Goofy's final smash, I went with the perfect cast. So he goes to the end of the screen and there's like a whole perfect cast. Yeah, and then hooks someone, brings okay, them back, cool. like sends that. them flying. That's Goofy, what do you think? Yeah, I like the final move. <laughs> but the rest... Everybody mumble! Final character, Jigglypuff. So, Jigglypuff was originally put in by Masahiro Sakurai as a joke character. <laughs> what Disney character is cute and harmless and you can't imagine fighting? I went with Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Jigglypuff's most powerful move is called Rest. Jigglypuff falls asleep on someone and they go flying. Oh. So I called Pooh's first move nap time. Basically, he has a nap and if he falls on them, they're going flying. Oh. Basically, I've gone with Pooh, he's not, he's not really fighting. He's just living his life. Oh, wow. I thought maybe he could like scoop out honey and chuck honey at people or maybe literally chucking a pot, rolling a pot. I feel like you want, you want to do something. You're wiggling your finger. What do you want? <laughs> you know Kirby's move when everyone would jump into the pot? Kirby's Final Smash. That could be like a little miniature version where they get stuck in the honey. Or the bees. On the bee button. Bee button. Bee. Bzz, bzz. So honey pot. Maybe you chuck the pot at someone or you roll it. When it hits them, honey spills out. Ooh, slippy slippy. Or sticky sticky. Sticky sticky. Yeah, okay, we'll go with sticky Honey's sticky. Honey. His recovery, like his up B, is gonna be balloons. He's gonna, he's gonna hold on to balloons and he's gonna fly up. Okay, you see how some characters have like a defensive rebound? So Winnie the Pooh, he likes to think a lot. So when he's like, hmm, think. Thing. If you hit him when he's thinking, that's when he's most powerful, it's going to rebound back onto you. That was so bad. <laughs> I feel like he should have like a belly lap. Okay, that's a cool one, that's a cool one. That's oh, good. Man. That's obvious. First idea here, but... Okay, but the next one is, he's got a little song called like, Up, Down, Touch the Ground, where he's doing like his like, <laughs> up, exercise. Up, down, left, right. <laughs> left, right, left. Why are you up like drunk? <laughs> 
there is no doubt in my mind he could be a good character. Okay. Basically, I've got a little costume based on each of the main Winnie the Pooh characters. Please appreciate my artwork. We've got a Tigger Top, Piglet, Eeyore, Rabbit. Him dressed in Christopher Robin's clothes. And then I found this of him dressed as a pirate from the TV show. And I thought, that's cute. And for the final one, I thought it would be cool if it's like the realistic live action Winnie the Pooh. That's not our live action Winnie the Pooh. Brother looks terrible. What do you mean looks terrible? He looks like a teddy bear. That's what Winnie the Pooh is. He's a teddy bear. It's Christopher Robin's toys, bro. I don't know the story. I thought it was like a yellow made up bear. Guys, we were coming to the end of the video and I'm really pleased because the ignorance over here, I just cannot. The <laughs> ignorance. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh's just made up. He's a, Christopher Robin has a whole bunch of toys. Who's Christopher Robin? <laughs> Final smash, beehive. So he, he floats up to the beehive and he literally tries to get some honey, but in trying to get it out, knocks it to the ground, angry bees attack everyone. Or there's a massive honey pot and it gets tipped upside down because he's trying to eat it all and the honey goes over everybody. Maybe over like the whole screen. there's a song in the most recent Winnie the Pooh film and basically it's him in a dream sequence of honey everywhere and he's like swimming in honey. Maybe it's like so maybe he's swimming. Everyone else is drowning. Here is the full roster for the original Super Smash Brothers Disney edition for the Nintendo 64. If you want to see us do this, but for the next game for Super Smash Bros. Melee, I've already got ideas. So if you'd like to see us, drop down your own ideas below and let us know. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon. Toodles! Bye!